Christmas Chase, this week we will bring to you the weather, lunch, winter concert highlights, and some school reminders. Hi, I'm Joan Park, and don't forget tomorrow's new homework day, Tuesday, December 10th. Take this time to spend it with your family. Do some things you can do is watch a movie, play board games, do awesome crafts, play a sport, cook or bake a special holiday treat. Whatever you do, be sure to have fun and spend time with your family. Bye! Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm Caroline. And I'm Anna. Remember that tomorrow night is the Polar Express, and make sure you come at the assigned time. There will be a special visitor reading the Polar Express book to us. I wonder who it is. I heard Santa will be there. If you want to feel extra cozy, you can wear your pajamas. There will also be lots of delicious holiday treats to eat waiting on the table at Grandma's Kitchen. And the decorations that the third and fourth graders worked on look amazing. We, we hope, hope you have, have a great time. time. Hi, I am Adam, your weather forecaster for the week. Today, December 9th, there will be showers with a high of 52 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Tomorrow, Tuesday, December 10th, there will be showers with a high of 56 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. On Wednesday, December 11th, there will be a.m. snow showers with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 22 degrees. On Thursday, December 12th, it will be locally cloudy with a high of 32 degrees and a low of 25 degrees. On Friday, December 13th, it will be mostly cloudy again with a high of 40 and a low of 34 degrees. Now on to the weekend. On Saturday, December 14th, there will be showers with a high of 45 and a low of 38 degrees. On Sunday, December 15th, it will be raining again with a high of 43 degrees. Hi, I'm Brody and I will be telling you this week's trivia question and the answer to last week's trivia question. Last week's question was, how many pounds of turkey are eaten on Thanksgiving? The answer was about 736 million pounds. This week's question is, what city is situated on two continents? Be sure to email your answer to hallelujahnews at mvnet.org. The first person to email us with the answer will be a uh, special guest on, on the LA News next week to announce the answer. Hi, I'm Max. And I'm Mateo. Listen up, here's the lunch for the week. Today there will be cheesy pizza and steaming hot chicken pot pie with a side of mixed veggies, fruit, juice, and milk. Tomorrow, there will be orange chicken and delicious chicken egg rolls with vegetable fried rice, fruit, refreshing juice, and milk. On Wednesday, there will be stuffed crust pizza and deli hero Italian or turkey. On the side, there's fruit, jello, and milk. On Thursday, there will be crunchy turkey tacos and taco salad. On the side, there will be green salad, mouth-watering fruit, sweet churro bites, and milk. On Friday, they will have pizza and yummy potato skins. First side, there will be steaming broccoli, fruit, flavorful juice, and milk. Max, what's the food joke for the month? What's the best cereal to eat in the winter? What? Frosted flakes. That makes so much sense. Have, have a, a great, great week and don't forget to stay healthy. Hi, my name is Alex. This month, we are honoring the art of Andrew Clements. He passed away the day after Thanksgiving on November 29th. He was 70 years old. He was an American writer of children's books. Andrew Clements was born in New Jersey but grew up in Illinois. He was a teacher for several years before becoming a full-time writer. He is the author of the bestseller Frindle, have you ever read his books? Other books he wrote were Lunch Money, No Talking, The Report Card, Laundry, Laundry News, The School Story, and many more. The last book he wrote was The Friendship War. I like the book Frindle the best because it is a, about a boy who makes up a new word for the pen, which is Frindle. Hi, my name is Maya. And my name is Sia. Today we will give you some highlights from the winter concert. Miss Mab led the chorus with several of her wonderful holiday songs. She also choreographed the dances. Mr. A led the fourth grade band members. Some of the instruments we heard were the clarinet, oboe, saxophone, trombone, drums, xylophone, flute, bells, and trumpet. We would also like to thank Mrs. Stokes for all the wonderful set decorations and artwork. We hope you enjoyed the winter concert.
Hello, my name is Gabby and the third grader's first song will be Shalom Haverim. I like this song because I am Jewish and it really brings out my inner holiday spirit. I also like this song because it has some very high bars in around. Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas to all. Hope you enjoyed this week of LA News. See you next week. Bye.